Hey guys, um, today I have the Republic Bomb Squad Clone Trooper, the Ordnance Specialist from the Clone Wars. Um, this guy is pretty cool. Um, as you can see, it's the exclusive version. Now, I thought it was a bit weird that the, the paint had been chipped away here and that, and I thought it was uh, perhaps a factory defect, but it's actually copying the... Um, oh, it's actually copying the battle damage that this guy has. Um, might be a bit hard to see there because of the light shining off the armor, but there are. Um, so yeah, there are um, white pieces missing off his emblem there. Um, just pretty hard to try and keep in the focus there. Um, so yeah, overall, pretty happy with this guy. Um, he's got a lot of... It's a bit hard to show on the camera because of um, how much the um, this camera is at boosting um, lighting quality and that. But um, his helmet here, um, it doesn't really show up, but it is quite... Um, his armor has a dirty look to it. Um, it looks like he's um he's been for a lot as you can see here. You can see the the black staining on um on the gauntlet there. Um now what's really cool about this guy is you do get the stand you do get the backpack. Um they've coloured it in um with the symbol there. As I said you can see the symbol there a lot better and um like the display stand um a fair bit of it's etched away. And um you do get the blaster and the and the rifle. But what's really cool about this guy is um you get this hand here, which we haven't had with any clone troopers, and um it's for holding his new accessory, which is the pliers. They're not metal, but they are um full working plastic ones. And we also get two of these shadow virus bombs and we got a unique hand for holding them um, so yeah, you can kind of pose him there as if he was cutting the fuse of the bomb or something like that um, so yeah I like this guy um, the fluoro orange definitely stands out and it's a unique um, paint pattern we haven't had any of these guys before um, and they are from season one, season one of Clone Wars I think it is it's either season one or early season two um, yeah the the episode I can't remember can't recall the name of the episode but um Anakin and Padme end up on Naboo where um creatures are dying from the water and it turns out that um this scientist guy for the Trade Federation has um, leaked this virus into the water supply and he's threatening to leak into the air and so these guys are deployed with the 501st and the 212 to um, defuse the bombs. So packaging wise um, it's a standard sideshow box we get one side like that one side like that um, it says Disney and we get standard pose and then just a standard um and as you can see they're still using the exclusive logo um, so yeah, I just thought I'd give you guys a, a quick look at him um, joint wise this guy's got um, it's probably one of the best jointed clone troopers I've had straight out of the box they're definitely improving the tightness of the joints um, over the older models um, so yeah, I'll be give, bringing another, you another video tomorrow um, of Hoff Luke Skywalker. Um, should be a bit earlier in the afternoon than um, this video. Now, I received a 24-hour shipping notice for Han Solo. Um, that will be the Han Solo with the blue jacket, not the brown jacket. Um, I know that in the films or whatever it's, it's said to be brown but I just went for the blue look 
um, because I've got the vintage Han and Tong Tong, and I just wanted to, um, wanted to keep that look. Um, when the eBay sellers and that start parting out the parts, I'll probably buy a brown jacket just to keep it in the bottom of the box to say that I've got both. But that is the exclusive version, the extra portraits, um, which no one's seen yet because all the um, videos that we've seen out of Hong Kong and the other YouTube YouTube tours um, have kept the standard or have been sent out the standard version. And um, hopefully we see a few pictures of the Wumper Attack portrait from Luke. Um, haven't seen too many of those floating around yet, except for, um, of course, Brendan Jackson's. Um, looked quite good there. So yeah, um, I'll be bringing you guys a video of that tomorrow, um, Han next week, and I'll also have another surprise for you early next week as well, hopefully on um, Tuesday. So a lot happening um, video-wise over the next few days. I'm not too sure on Han, he'll probably be Thursday, Friday. Um, if he comes on Friday, I'll definitely have a video um, Friday afternoon. If he comes on Thursday, might be early Friday that I have a video up. But um, yeah, thanks, thanks for watching, guys. And um, this guy's the Bomb Squad Trooper. Um, you can pick him up for 190 posted um, from Anime Exchange. He won't have this stand though. He'll just have the normal black one. But I'm not going to lie, I paid an extra 30, I think it was, for the white stand. So, um, yeah, if you're not a fan of the white stands, or if the white stands don't really um, matter to you all that much, definitely um, go for the $190 option. Um, works out cheaper for you there. And I'll post the link to Anime Exchange. They don't have it listed on their website directly, I don't think. But if you shoot them a message um, explaining what the item is, they'll definitely be able to get it in for you. And it will probably only take um, a week or so. So yeah, um, keep an eye out for the Luke video um, late tomorrow. And I'll keep you posted on um, my other figures.